what's going on youtube it's your boy josh and i'm here back with another tutorial and as you can see we have another client that hasn't had a haircut in a while so we're going to be transforming this haircut cutting his hair off and giving him a low taper and before we get deep into this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so right here we're just picking his hair out getting it ready to cut it down So to start this cut down process, we're going to start with our number two guard with the lever all the way closed. Um, and this haircut, we're actually going to go with our one guard, but I'm going to start off with my number two guard just to check for any cowlicks or any like swirls in his head. So we won't leave any patches. As you guys can see, he had a lot of hair. Definitely by the end of this video, he's going to look like a whole new kid. So right here, I picked up my number one guard with the lever all the way open. Um, just because I got to the point where I seen all I needed to see so I started cutting it down to the height that I actually wanted it to be cut to and then eventually I'm going to close the lever halfway because his hair texture um, it didn't like lay down the same as far as it would with some people with the lever all the way open so I just closed it halfway and it laid down just how I wanted it to. you guys when cutting down people's hair um to all even length make sure you get every single hair i mean like go over the same spots like two and three times just to make sure so like i said we're going to be giving him a low taper i'm going to start with my number two guard and I go against the grain just to clear up some bulk to give myself um an area of fading so to set in my first guideline, I'm going to use my cordless babless trimmers and I'm going to set this guideline in pretty low since we're giving him a low taper, like right around where the ear starts to curve, right in that little crease right there. That's where I started it at. So right after setting in my first guideline, I'm going to go in using my cordless babless clippers with the lever all the way open, going up about a half an inch, setting in my next guideline. Using the babless clippers, sometimes when taking that line out, it's a different approach. I start with the lever all the way closed, and then I open up to each notch until I have it all the way open and until the line is fully blended away. Right after we've blended out that guideline, I'm going to go in and create my next guideline, which will be with my number one guard with the lever all the way open, going up about another half an inch. And I'm kind of keeping this guideline, you know, around in an arch shape. Um, I don't want to go to the corner of the guideline because I want to leave the corner dark for the lineup. So right after I go in with the number one guard open, I go down to my number one guard with the lever all the way closed, doing some down fading until we blend out this guideline. And right here I go in with my half guard right after we're done with the number one guard, just to blend this line out all the way. So to finish off this side taper, I'm going to go back in with my number two guard just to make sure that I got every single hair and then we're going to down fade from this point on. Right after using my number two guard, I'm going to go in with my number one and a half guard with the lever all the way open to start under the line and flicking up to that dark area where we're trying to blend it out. And then I'm going to drop down to my number one and a half guard with the lever all the way closed. And then I'm going to pick up my one guard again and do some more detail work and then just kind of, you know, play with the fade with no guard. So right here we're going to start on the neck taper. I'm going to start with my bald line using my same Babless Gold FX trimmers setting in this bald line. Um, whenever I'm doing a neck fade it's kind of similar to the side taper. Um, as you guys can see I have my number two guard on right here doing some debulking to clean up my area so I can have a smooth fading area. So right here we're going to go in with my Babless clippers with the lever all the way open going up about a half an inch creating my next guideline so like i said when i use my babless clippers i start with my lever all the way closed to blend out the first guideline so just just to really soften up that line and then i gradually open up my lever to make a smooth blend so right now i'm going to go in with my number one guard with the lever all the way closed going up about another half an inch creating my next guideline
the next step to take out the number one guard closed guideline is to go in with your half guard with the lever all the way closed starting under the line and just flicking up to the line until you see that line blend away sometimes you might have to take the guard off and do no guard with the lever all the way open using your corners doing some corner blending Considering that we started this neck taper off with the number two guard with the lever closed, just to debulk, we're gonna go in with my one and a half guard with the lever all the way open, just starting from there, and we're gonna be down frame from that point on. So after we go in with our number one and a half open and closed, we're gonna come back with the number one guard with the lever all the way open. Considering that we did our first guideline with the number one guard closed, so we never got to do the one guard open, and this is what's gonna connect this whole fade. So now we're going to move into the lineup process right here i'm going in with my number one guard with the lever all the way open just going with the grain across the edge of the hairline getting any loose hairs to lay down so i can make sure this lineup is perfect so right here we're going to be applying some holding spray to make sure that we get the best lineup as possible out of this haircut So for my lineup process, I'm going to be using my cordless babblish trimmers again. And as you guys can see, we already getting a nice line on this haircut. I'm going to just let you guys sit back and watch this lineup bring this haircut to life. That C cup line just really brought that low taper to life. It really showed how low we made this taper and how dark we kept the edges just to make sure he had a nice lineup. One tip that I want to say is when you're doing that lineup, make sure you guys are just checking the haircut as you guys go through the lineup process. Say for instance, if you started on one side of the haircut and you're like going to the other side, make sure you're keeping up with both sides as you go because sometimes with the person's head shape, it might just throw you off. And as you guys know, the infamous neckline, as you guys can see, I killed it. Came out crispy. He had the perfect canvas for it. Both sides, just super sharp. you guys this really was the ultimate makeover if you watched it up until this point i really appreciate it you guys watched me transform this haircut from start to finish and you know we got them right so you too without further ado this is the cut i hope you guys like it make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on leave a comment and leave a like on this video and don't forget to follow me on instagram at josh x barber as you guys see on the top of this video it's your boy josh and i'm out